بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. So I want to very briefly, very quickly speak about something very, very important. Don't uh, close the mushaf, please. Close it. Jazakallah khair. I want you to listen. This is very important, especially for you. Especially for you. طيب. I want us to talk about this time about waste. Waste in Islam. Waste means when you do something and you leave extra. For example, some people, they waste their food. That means they don't eat all the food on their plate and they throw a lot of food away. This is called Israf in Arabic. What's it called? Israf. Israf. Jazakallah khairan. This is called Israf in, in, in the Arabic language. So it means to waste. That when you, when you have something, you have extra and you just waste it. You don't use it all properly. Some people, they waste their food. Some people, they waste water. Okay, you don't want to waste water. Meaning when you make wudu, when you make your ghusl, when you clean yourself, you don't just leave the water running and just running and running and running and, and wasting. No, that is not from Islam. And the Prophet ﷺ prohibited that as we're going to find out in a, from a hadith. That it is not from Islam to waste food. And it's not from Islam to waste drink. And it's not from Islam to waste anything, even the environment. We have to be cautious and try to keep a balance. We shouldn't just waste anything and just and throw garbage anywhere and so forth. No. And also, you should not have israf al-mal. You should not waste your money. How do we waste our money? We waste money if we take money and we just spend it on anything. We just spend, 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 spend. And it's on something that is, has no benefit for us. For example, if someone just spends all their money on candy, they get a, a certain amount of money every month or whatever, and they only buy stuff that's bad for them. This is waste. And it's going to hurt their teeth and, and cause them uh, harm. So you don't want to do this. You also don't want to waste your money on haram. If you spend your money on haram things, this is haram and it is waste. So Islam teaches us not to waste. And the point I wanted to make is about not wasting um not wasting water water especially here in the arab world is very precious it's like gold you don't want to just turn on the water you make a wudu when you make wudu use just enough to make the wudu if you can put it in a jar or something then do it in a jar and make your wudu from the jar don't just pour the water and then you're walking you're talking with somebody you're doing this and you're on the phone and you're watching this and, and going here and there no but you want to focus you want to use what is enough water and then turn the water off. When you're washing the dishes, you don't want to just turn the fossil on, the faucet on and just let water run. That's not from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu Listen to this hadith on Abdullah ibn Mughaffar. And uh, and Abdullah ibn Mughaffar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu sami'a ibnan lahu yaqul fi du'aihi Allahumma inni as'aluka qasr al-bayt uh, abyad an yamin al-jannah إذا دخلتها طيب عبد الله بن مغفر رضي الله تعالى عنه he heard one of his sons making a dua a dua to who? a dua to Allah سبحانه وتعالى not to the graves not to anyone else so he was making a dua this sahaba this sahabi عبد الله بن مغفر he heard one of his sons making this dua and in the dua listen Sena in the dua, he was saying, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was saying, O oh Allah, I ask, uh, uh, I ask of you that you give me a castle, a white castle in Jannah, on the right, uh, on the right of Jannah. Okay? Uh, if I enter it. So he was making a dua and making this for a very specific thing in Jannah. فقال أي بني so then he said oh my son سل الله الجنة وتعوذ به من النار فإني سمعت النبي صلى الله النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول فسيكون في هذه الأمة قوم يعتدون في الطهور والدعاء in this hadith then Abdullah bin Mughaffal radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said he said oh my son when you ask Allah 
ask Allah for Jannah. What should you ask Allah for? Jannah. For Jannah. And, and seek refuge in Him from the hellfire. Seek refuge in Allah from the hellfire. From the hellfire. A'udhu billah min al-nar. I seek refuge in Allah from the hellfire. Okay? Then he said, For verily I heard the Prophet وسلم, say, There will be a people from my community, from my ummah, that will go beyond the bounds. They will, they will do too much uh, in their tuhur, in their, like their wudu, in their ghusl, and in their dua. The scholars, they say about this hadith, what this means is that some people will waste water. They will waste, they will be too, doing too much in their, when they're making to, uh, tahara, when you're making wudu or you're making ghusl. Don't go too much. The Prophet ﷺ said, do not, it was, was showing that this is not something that is good to waste. Do not waste water. Rashad, what should we do? Jazakallah khairan, to not waste water. Also, the second point with this hadith, and the Prophet ﷺ mentioned with dua, that also in our dua, that you don't have to go too much in depth about details in your dua. That don't don't go beyond the bounds. For example, if you're making dua, you can ask Allah for Jannah. Oh Allah, bless me with Jannah to Firdos. But you don't have to say, Oh Allah, bless me with Jannah to Firdos. And in that Jinn and Jannah for Firdos, I want a river where I can do this in it, and I want a big castle, and I want my mom's castle here, and I want this, and and going in all details. No, just keep it simple. Oh Allah, bless me and my family with Jannah to Firdos. Bless us to give salams in Jannah. Okay? Just like that. You don't have to go all in super details. This can be uh, falling under the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu where he said, يَعْتَدُونَ فِي التُّهُورِ وَالدُّعَى That they go beyond the bounds in their, in their they're being wasteful in their tuhur and being wasteful in a sense in their dua and their supplication. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala knows what you want. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala knows what you need. So you don't have to say, I want this specific thing and I want this fruit in Jannah and I want it like this and I want no you don't have to go all those details O oh Allah please bless me with Jannah to Firdos and O oh Allah I seek refuge in you from the hellfire that's enough you don't have to go with all the specific details you understand and the point I mentioned this for us is so that we don't become wasteful with our money and we don't become wasteful with water Okay, so don't take a shower for one hour. Don't take uh, a wudu and spilling water everywhere. No, you can make your wudu with enough water as the Prophet ﷺ used only a little bit of water. ﷺ, there's a, another hadith of the Prophet ﷺ where a man said, that's, enough, that's not enough water for me. He, he was talking to one of the Sahaba, I think it was Ali, and he, he said, you know, that because he was describing about the 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 amount of water the Prophet ﷺ used. And the man said, that's not enough for me. And then, the, then he said, that, is, that was enough for one who is better than you and who had longer hair than you. And he was talking about, يُرِيدُ بِهِ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم, That he was talking about the Prophet ﷺ. And this shows us not to waste. Don't be wasteful with your water. If you can use just a little bit, use just a little bit. Should we use a lot of water? Should we take a shower for two hours? Jazakallah khairan, Allah yibarak fiqh. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.